six carbon molecules plus six water molecules and energy in the form of sunlight to produce glucose and six um, water molecules. This is interesting because when you compare it to cellular respiration, the, um, the whole equations are whole opposite, the opposites. Um, you have the products um, from photosynthesis as, re as the base reactants and you have the reactants in um, photosynthesis as the products in cellular respiration. Now, photosynthesis occurs in two steps. You have the light, react the light reactions, which occur in the thylakoid stack of the grana, and you have the Calvin cycle, which is also known as the dark reaction. Um, NADPH and ATP plus oxygen are all created through the light reaction, and you have the Calvin cycle, where CO2 is observed in the stomata, and O2 is also released through the stomata. You have the water transported through the roots, and implement Calvin cycle where it's used to create the sugar. And another interesting thing to notice is that through photosynthesis, there is the um, electron transport chain, which we also see in cellular respiration. And in the in the ETC, I can pause. As we said before, photosynthesis and cellular respiration are directly related. They are basically opposites. The products of photosynthesis, which are glucose and oxygen, are used in the process of cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is a process that occurs in cells of organisms where biochemical energy from energy is converted into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. There are three steps to this cycle, uh, to this process. Glycolysis, which occurs in the cytoplasm, the Krebs cycle, or the citric acid cycle, which occurs in the matrix of the mitochondria, and the electron transport chain, which occurs in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So first, we're going to start with glycolysis. And basically, glycolysis is the breaking down of glucose into pyruvate, which is then used in the Krebs cycle. So first, we start off with one molecule of glucose, which is C6H12O6. It is composed of six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is then broken down into two molecules that are three carbon molecules. And this uses two ATP. Then these two molecules turn into what is called pyruvate. And basically pyruvate is a three carbon molecule with a phosphate attached. Uh, Basically, um, the process of glycolysis produces two ATPs each per molecule of pyruvate and one NADH each. And so now I'm going to talk about the Krebs cycle, which is the next process in cellular respiration. So you have one pyruvate molecule, and there are two are produced in the glycolysis uh, step of cellular respiration. And each pyruvate molecule breaks off one carbon, which produces CO2 to create acetyl-CoA, which is a two-carbon molecule. Um, this step produces one NAD plus into NADH. Uh, the acetyl-CoA then merges with a four-carbon molecule called oxaloacetate. So four carbons. Uh, this step is catalyzed by en enzymes, just like everything else that happens in the Krebs cycle. The merging of these two molecules produces a six-carbon molecule called citric acid. The citric, ac citric acid then goes through a cycle which, with several steps to create oxaloacetate again. So basically it happens in a cycle. And in this process, um, two NAD pluses are reduced to produce NADH. NAD plus to NADH. 
happens twice. One molecule of FAD plus is reduced to create FADH2. Also, each, um, each molecule of pyruvate produces one ATP. So overall, Krebs cycle produces two ATP. Example of cellular respiration is called the electron transport chain, or oxidative, oxidative phosphorylation. This is the most important step with regards to how DNP affects the body. The electron transport chain produces the most ATP out of all three steps of cellular respiration. After glycolysis and the Krebs cycle occur, 10 NADHs are produced and 2 FADH2s are produced. The NADH and FADH molecules carry electrons along a path, and each time an electron passes through, the hydrogen attached to the NADH goes through the transport protein. And when this happens, it creates a concentration gradient, which produces the energy that enables ADP to turn to bond with the phosphate to create ATP. And when this happens, a hydrogen goes through the ATP synthase, and that is... So when the hydrogen passes through the ATP, synth ATP synthase, it creates a concentration gradient, which causes this to spin, and the ADP molecule bo bonds with the phosphate to create ATP. And after this happens, all the, uh, the majority of the ATP is created in cellular respiration. Um, this step of cellular respiration ultimately creates 34 ATP. So now we'll be looking at a thermogenic uncoupler called 2,4-dinotrophenol, or 2,4-DMP for short. Um, it's a molecule that's said to help people lose weight by uncoupling oxidative phosphorylation. So what does uncoupling phosphorylation mean? Um, as we learned before, oxidative phosphorylation consists of two smaller steps, the oxidation of NADH and FADH2 to create a concentration gradient of H+, which is called the electron transport chain, and then the phosphorylation or the creation of ATP by H plus ions flowing through the ATP synthase. This part is called chemiosmosis. Because chemiosmosis cannot occur without the electron transport chain, the two reactions of the the two reactions are said to be coupled because one reaction cannot occur without the other. What 2,4-DMP does is it uncouples oxidative phosphorylation. It disconnects the oxidation and the phosphorylation aspects by getting rid of the H plus gradient. When 2,4-DMP is present, it provides another passage for the H plus ions to cross the membrane and carries the ions directly across the membrane without having them go through the ATP synthase. So it'll carry one of these H plus ions and then just go straight through. What happens is after NADH and FADH are oxidized and H plus ions are pumped across the membrane, there are now more H plus ions on one side of the membrane than the other, and this creates a concentration gradient. Now these ions will want to get back to the side with the or H plus ions because they want to go back to equilibrium. Normally these hydrogen ions can't go straight through the membrane themselves because they're really polar. But what the 2,4-DMP does is it carries H plus ions and through the two, through, it carries the H plus ions through the membrane because it's a nonpolar molecule. Um, the situation can sort of be described as a leak because now instead of having to flow through the ATP synthase and creating ATP, the, the 2,4-DMP can carry the H plus ions straight through the membrane without having to go through the ATP synthase and preventing ATP from being created. So now let's look at the effects of having 2,4-dinotrophenol on our, in our body. So the 2,4-DMP has dissipated the concentration gradient and chemiosmosis does not occur and ATP is not created as a result. Now the energy produced by the electron transport chain is now released as heat. The body compensates for the small amount of ATP created by carrying out cellular, cellular respiration 
at a higher rate and increasing your body's metabolism in order to create more ATP. Over time, the amount of ATP produced through the breakdown of glucose is not sufficient to fuel the activities of the cells, so the cells will look toward breaking down store fat instead. Thus, taking 2,4 DMP does induce weight loss, but it's also extremely dangerous and could have fatal um, side effects. Some side effects include nausea, anorexia, due to the extreme loss of weight, weakness because um, your body won't have enough ATP to fuel the activities of the cells, and swelling. Um, and more serious side effects include a rise in body temperature since all the energy created by cellular respiration is um, released as heat, and tachycardia, which is when your heart exceeds the normal range in rapid breathing. Um, these two happen because as the rate of cellular respiration increases, your body's consuming more oxygen in an attempt to create more ATP, and also possible death if so much 2,4-DMP is taken that the cells die out due to a lack of ATP. 2,4-DMP!